What's up, guys? Hey, we're back. We're back. Next uh, next episode. Episode uh, number three, right, of Strahd? This is three of, yes, of main campaign. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're back. Episode we, three. Uh, we all met. We gambled. We met. We gambled. Uh, Pat we and I got drunk as fuck. Yeah, we were drunk AF. And uh, I think we're going Bonds gonna, were forged. Yeah, we're going to... And you and Dirt are like biffles now. Yeah. Something. We so. were going to uh, stand on each other's shoulders and wear a trench coat and get into bars. Vincent Adult Man. Vincent Adult Man. Yeah. Very nice. So proud of you. You do have a Thank top you. hat. Thank you. you do I have do a have top an, hat. And six cloaks. <laughs> six <laughs> cloaks. You guys want some cloaks? <laughs> oh, we should give one to... party! We should give one to Mark. Who would um, like to yeah, buy a cloak? Mark. No, Mark. It's Mark. You're right. It's Mark. I was drunk. I don't remember. <laughs> bastards. Drunk bastards. His name was Ismark. Don't embarrass us in front of the park. That's hey, in front of everybody. Mark. Uh, you're not my dad. Anyway, all right. We're going to pass this over to Justin now and let him uh, master the, the dungeon. Let him fucking slide into the DM. Slide into the DM. That's what I usually do. Just kidding. I have no self-esteem. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, we're back at Curse of Strahd. Our, true. Our adventurers. <laughs> oh, all of fun. All of fun. Um, m- our adventurers here have met with the lovely Heshi and Morgana. Mostly Heshi, though. Ooh. Oh, no. Morgana's astute, man. She she, you need one Heshi. of these people because yeah, Dirt's, getting, sexy one. Dirt's getting tired of carrying <laughs> the weight of this group. Yeah, but he's packing the muscle. The muscles. Yeah, we're, we're very suspect of Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Dirt's Dude. like, I see you. And you're like, I'll fucking kill you. Yeah, we fucking see you, bro. <laughs> Roadhouse. Um, if you try and hurt him, I'll kill you. Yeah. I will kill you. So it upon going into again. this tavern, they met with uh, all of your gold. this mysterious man named Ismark who gave them a proposition of Mark. basically helping out uh, and protecting his sister. Um, they, he said he I would have a proposition it. in the morning to basically get her out of the city, this village of Barovia. Uh, and they heard inklings of this devil named Strahd. And so with that... We will awake in the morn. Um, everyone, eggs. everyone, do me a favor. Everyone, roll perception for me. Twelve. Three. Mod nineteen. Mod ten. Seven. Okay. I have an eighteen, 18. plus one. Oh. Everyone. Six. Everyone during the night had a very restful night's sleep. But I had the most. Except restful. for no, except for Rufio. Yeah. Rufio had a combination of the shits and the farts. <laughs> Yeah. So he gets and so Rufio <laughs> farts. in the middle of the night. Oh, no. It's it, it's got to be at least about I really one or two. You have to just <laughs> piss all of this poison out of you. Yeah. And as you go by, uh, usually you you know the glint and the light of the moon usually creeps in, and it's just it seems brighter than it normally does. Great. And so before you go out, you kind of look outside, and you're taken aback as you see these droves of just. Ghosts walking through this this village and they're not bumping into each other. Kind of is uniform. It's like kind of like a flowing river. They just keep going and they're all going to this certain place in the graveyard. Do I know that it's not a manifestation of me pissing out poison? It's the same thing Dirt said he did, saw. Got it. I remember that. And you're like, actually, <clears throat> neat. And you go back, you pee. <laughs> you're like, I, you're, you have like the worst headache. Your mouth Nito dry. You're like, Nito. I need to seek Jesus. And then you just, you pee and you go whore. back to sleep. Whore, help me. Uh, so it's the morning. All of you wake up. Rufio, you have the worst hangover you've ever had in your life. Great. If you had Lindsay Lohan shades, you would be wearing those right now. Great. And you would also be wearing a shirt that says baby slut on it. Uh, (laughs) And then, Absidy, you're not too far off. You also have big, like, Nicole Richie shades. And you have a black coffee, a black Starbs. And you you two went through the fucking (laughs) ringer. And you all slowly... I rolled so much better than all of them, and I ended up worse. <laughs> you drank shit. a shit ton, and you you this failed so shit. many constitution saving throws. That was two. You, that's more than one. That's uh, true. So you slowly, one by one, you kind of go, and Ismark is there. He looks like he looks a little bit well-rested, a little more helpful. Uh, hopeful. Has this, this notebook in his hand, and in front of him has these plates of just eggs and sausages, and it looks like he's gotten breakfast for all of you. Oh, God. Sweet. Thank so. you. Is that the continental breakfast? Now, <laughs> do, we, do we know yet if we can trust this guy? Because I mean, he gave us brandy. I don't want to we drink or eat anything he brings me. 
Uh, you can roll for insight. That is fine. You eat, you don't eat. I'll, I'll eat Frankly, it. Frankly, I'll eat yours. I will also eat. Roll. <laughs> You could she could she she could roll for insight right? You can roll an insight yeah. to see if he's see like deceptive, and, and he's like never deal with a Sicilian when death is on the line. Human green. Thirteen, 13. plus what is she trying to get? Perception or so, insight? So, so investigation. Oh, that Zero. one. Zero. Oh, so thirteen. So you kind of like look at him, and you look back at the food, and you kind of sniff it. You put a little bit. It tastes like food. Right, it tastes I'll, pretty I'll okay. Eat it. I'll eat it. I'm hungry. But we're, you're hesitant. We're gonna eat it. <laughs> um. I'll I'll eat, but uh, <clears throat> it is Mark. I uh, last night uh, was a little bit uh, under the influence. You started singing. Yeah, that sounds right. Would you like me for me? <sighs> no, now's not a good time. <laughs> uh, can you run us through the the Cliff Notes version of what happened? Yes. Now there was a question about what i would do for all of you if you help yeah. indeed bring my sister come to my sister talk to her yes i will give you half half now half later half half i love half well you don't know half of what yet i will give you <laughs> not each i'm not that rich i will give you 500 gold that you may split amongst yourselves. That's a lot of gold. So 250 I will give you, now, 250 then? I will give you half when we get to the... When you come to my sister and meet her. It's 50 gold each. That's that's, that, good. that's real good. I like money. That's a good... That's good. It's more than we all have now. Listen. So do I not get any before, money? No, fuck no, you. you Dirt, don't. shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I've been here. Well, Where have you been? Dirt, dirt, you. dirt. dirt. I'm down. I'm going to go outside. And she just, starts waving I'm going to rage dance. dance. Take a walk. <laughs> go rage dance. Incantations. Uh, I have to go to the woods dance. and dance this out. Punch, punch, dance, punch your rage dance my rage out. out. I would like to vicious mockery dirt. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I, uh, I got to roll I gotta roll a, a saving throw against him. Don't kill the you. squire, dude. Hold on. You don't have to roll anything yet. I don't want him to die. I, I just want him to get hurt real bad. Go. He got a natural 20. <laughs> I don't believe you. You're thinking he's over there. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'll let you look at it. I'm just kidding. I'll fucking destroy so, you. Go ahead. Keep your dirt we'll shitty no, 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 no. dirt give, t- you, quiet. Give the insult. Oh. Give him the insult. I don't have He's this lanky prepared. 12-year-old child. <laughs> and he goes, Seems that one right. isn't talking anymore. I'm going to go outside and rage punch this out because you frustrate me. <laughs> dirt. So I've got to have the insult Take ready. Take a walk, dirt. Take a walk. Usually you got to have an idea. I'll prepare but, this. I'll, I won't use it again. If until you go I'm ready. like on Google and D and D Reddit bard insults, there are, there is a hundred like amazing insults. Oh, nice. They're all great. I usually have one ready, so they're great. So Dirt kind of just goes and storms yeah. outside with his plate. So fuck that dude. He's going through. <laughs> I'll he is going through you. hormone. I'll put your head on a spike. I'm not afraid of you, Paladin. Please let us not fight. We have lots to discuss. What else? We accept. What else? <laughs> Let's do this. What else was discussed? You have to. Last night, we discussed your share being split amongst the other four of us because you're a tool bag. <laughs> I that is cannot not, can confirm I, nor deny. That I, is not true. Can just I stab Heshi? Uh, hey, just one time. Stop. Out of hand to steal that device that he's trying to sla- <laughs> stab with. Uh, go ahead, and I mean, if you want to, you can, Heshi, roll, a, you can roll an attack roll. What do I have to roll to get to be the taking of it? <laughs> uh, he's got to make sure he doesn't hit you first. Oh, bummer. <laughs> and that's with my great sword. Are you going to hit him with a great sword in a bar? I am. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. <laughs> he's being disrespectful. He's he gonna, needs to he's be gonna punished. He's going to roll a three. This is uh, just... So I still need a bow I get string. My, attacks, my attack bonus is five, right? Mm-hmm. So it's plus five, every, anything I roll. Two. Six. Is five That's is eleven. Miss. So you start to pull out your great sword and you come down and you bring it down and you see Heshi and he just kind of like kicks his chair back a little bit and it just goes whiff. Um, poof. Now, as you do that and you two start to argue, those three ladies in the uh in the corner, the proprietors of this bar. Mm. No, 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 no. This is not this will not do. Ismark, take your friends out. They're done. I'm, you got us kicked out, douchebagger. I got I'm so sorry, Maribel, Sylvia. I am sorry. They were just leaving. Just kick the dwarves out. You've already had an issue with them. No, 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 no. 
I have had issue with you. I have now have issue with you. You throwing sword in my establishment. Two times. I do not give third chances. You are a unit. You are fucking out. You're a part of our unit now. Looks like not is that's Ismark likes us more than you. We're in for that five hundred, aren't you? No, not with you. Please, I'd rather split it three ways. Please, can we please just get up, leave now? Because I live here. I have to come back eventually. Yeah, let let let's go, guys. I want money. I'm with the wee one. Here we go. Here's what I have to say. Hey, hey, here's Shart's piece. While you guys were fucked up last night. I got a good time with Heshi and Morgana. We Piece bonded. Shit, right? We bonded. Heshi and Morgana. Little you guys bit. were an embarrassment. True. And I literally saved you from him robbing your drunk asses. True. So I think you guys, first off, owe me a bit of gratitude by agreeing to do this. We'll kill him. If we kill him, we kill him. That happens later. Role, we'll not see. With roles like that. I like Tough Mike. He's awesome. <laughs> I guess we'll see. So why don't we just go ahead... Put differences aside. <laughs> put your dick back in your pants. And let's I go save a like fucking Ryan's sister. In my wife's butt. <gasps> What's the sister's name again? Irina. 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 I wrote that down too. Doing this for Irina. Come on, Irina. Doing it for the money. Don't care about Irina. Yes, Mark. What, uh, what else was discussed last night? That's enough. I, uh, I was going to discuss payment, but I, uh, I was able to scrounge up... The, Savings that we do have yeah. back at the uh, the home, mm. we should be able to to pay you. Where's that two fifty? When we get to the home, what? Well, let's go. What? What yeah. is this journey entail? Let's begin. I don't. Again, re- recalling very little from last night. I need as much detail as you can possibly give. Shard, bring your boy to shape here. We already know what's going on. Mm-hmm. There is. Can I stab him again? <laughs> no, you failed last time. There is. Let's try again. You can certainly try. Go ahead. <laughs> no, try it no, out. No, I'm not. Thank we'll, you. <laughs> we'll, we'll diplomacy. Wait. Diplomacy. There's, there is this man who is infatuated with my sister. This wow. devil, Strahd, and your friend, this small boy, brought me a wine bottle that had a card on it that had his insignia. This S. Got it. Yeah, I remember the wine bottle. <laughs> so we are trying to get her away from said town. And we would like to... I need to get her out before the devil strat gets to her. There have been, How does he come himself? He usually sends people for it. Wolves. What kind of wolves? He referenced wolves last night. Mm-hmm. They are angry. Are they... Are Well, let me... Are <coughs> they... Are they four-legged wolves or are they two-legged wolves? Like werewolves? Like werewolves. They have four legs. But do they run on all four legs always? Yes, they are wolves. Okay. I'm just... I'm just Shart, rein your dude in. Is he still <laughs> drunk? I don't He's understand. I got, he sounds pretty drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm a little buzzed. I have. <laughs> and then the, the three in the back, you're still here. Out. <laughs> we'll meet you out front. Yep. Well, we'll okay. go out front. We're dirt as punch dancing the rage. <laughs> <laughs> never, never, no, never, no, never, never, never. You and he's just kind of smoking a cigarette. Oh he's in, like, God, Calvin does he Klein's. look kind of like Kevin Bacon? <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And he's throwing beer bottles. Foot loose. So. Thanks for the copyright strike. <laughs> it was uh, less than thirty seconds. He's fine. Less than there. there you go. Lawyered. Uh, lawyered. So you you all slowly start to come out of the of the inn, and you hear Ismark just apologizing over and over. I'm sorry. They are. I'm just. I'm hiring for a job. No, they are not my friends. Please, this is. Let me come back here eventually to drink again. Please. Can I give them gold for the trouble? You and probably should. That, sure. And hope that. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'd like to give them uh, five gold pieces and apologize for uh, my and Heshi's outburst. Boo boo, steal that gold. So they take the five. Next time you all come in, weapons at the doorway. Understandable. Seems if fair. anything. Stands to reason. Did we even use the dwarves didn't pull their weapons for yeah. the record. Nor did the no, halfling. But yep. they already. It is pretty cautionary them. measure. 
You are all trouble, and I would like to keep trouble very, very slim. Respect. Is that right? <laughs> and they just, the head one just kind of rolls her eyes and then shuts the door to the end as, as Mark goes, okay, that was uh, eye-opening. So I tried to make it better. Please, if you would care to follow me. Yeah. And he starts tur- going to the west. And you're passing through this this these tight kind of like narrow uh, streets. You see, um, once again, occasional people outside. Um, and you go all the way to the end and there's this weary looking mansion and it squats behind a rusting iron fence. Uh, the iron gates are twisted and torn and the right gate lies cast aside. So the left wind sings kind of lazily in the wind. The stuttering squeal and clang of the gate repeats with mindless precision. Weeds choke the grounds and press with menace upon the house itself, yet against the walls. Their growth has been tramped down to create a path all about the domain. As you look, heavy claw markings have been stripped of the once beautiful finish on the walls. Uh, Great black marks tell of fires that have assailed this mansion, and not a pane nor a shard of glass stands in any window. All the windows are barred with planks and each one marked with stains of an evil omen. If you'd like, you can make uh, perception checks or, um, to try to get a little bit more lay of the land. Oh, God. I'll let you roll with advantage, Michael, because you are a mountain man. I have a nine. So I roll with advantage? Yep. I have an eight. 21. Uh, perception mod at 19. Okay. How's she? Okay. So, Shark, you and Absidy are kind of like tight now. You're kind of like bros. Yeah. Like I'd watch it on AB on like ABC. This guy, this guy, both of us. <laughs> I'm tall. I'm short. And together, we're tall and short. <laughs> I think I just lost brain cells on that one. <laughs> Coming on ABC. It's gotta be great. Because we're the uh, family yeah. channel. <laughs> uh, so you're looking around the grounds and it's free for shark. The best. You, you almost pick up on this immediately. You see, Catch me on the CW. you see paw prints of wolves, wolf paw prints. They're wolves. not, they're not the size that you're used to. They're much smaller, like pups. They're, they're, they seem like small your family, bro. From what you're used to the cubs. Now world series champion mm-hmm. cubs. Now, as you look at city, you see, Feet mark, like feet, footprints, but you see like, like occasionally you'll see like a foot and then you'll see next to it what looks like something dragged and then a foot and then a drag, something that you would assume belongs to a zombie. Mm. So there have been different assaults you can get. You guys can both tell on this house. And uh, Ismark kind of looks at you and he goes, like I said, we're not exactly safe in this house. Please come with me. And what is this house again? Sorry. This is my is home. Oh, we're oh. at the family home. Yeah, okay. I didn't know if we had to stop off. Yes, you were at it. my home. Pit uh, stop at Albuquerque. <laughs> oh, my God. A pit. Took a wrong turn at Homeboken. Um, <clears throat> so you you kind of approach the door, and Ismark kind of knocks on it, and you hear nothing. And Ismark goes, Irina, it's me. Please open the door. I have, I have visitors. And you hear very hot, like, it sounds like she's very far away from the door. And she goes, no, then the student visitors is Mark. Go away. Please, if you would like to just talk about this reasonably, we can go inside the uh, inside the home with my new friends. You are embarrassing me. Please let me in. I don't think I would trust strangers into our home, especially when I'm trying to be killed. This is some Maury Povich shit. <laughs> you are not the father. <laughs> Irina? Please, if you would so so kindly let me in. I'm okay. Thank you. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Don't, when she gets like this, she gets upset and then she doesn't open the door. What? What? Uh, what? What can we do? Is there anything we can do? Is there a back entrance? No, there's only one entrance and it's through that door. These houses in this neighborhood are not good with the doorways. <laughs> We've never really had to have more than one doorway. I'm just saying, when we went to the death house, and I This had, is not death house. This uh, is my home. But they had one door, too. It's very bad for fire now, safety. Does she know that we're moving her? 
Is she not willing to come? Like, Did you not tell her the plan, yeah. Ismark? I was in the room. There is no, I couldn't relay plan. But you came up with that plan at the bar? This is not something you had I, talked about? Well, no, she has not let me. He had said there's not very many adventurers that come through here. He We're going to need the money uh, 60% up front. Don't, of 50. don't pay attention to him. He's not. Part Let's of get this into the door first, right. and then we will try to get <laughs> payment. Yes. Yes. Uh, can we help? We can uh, surely knock it down. You can. Please don't knock down the door can to my we, home. Uh, the door open. Can we all do a persuasion check to try? What a persuasion! You certainly can. Yeah. So who is going to go ahead and jump? Who to is that. the most persuasive? I have a plus four. Uh, Heshi is. I vouch no, for Heshi. I got Persuasion. four. You have six. Oh, we're rolling. Damn it. Damn, son. I He's a rogue. 19. She got in there. Oh, but I think uh, he only wants one person to do yeah. it. So I was just wanted to see who, I mean. You have a plus six. Yeah, he's got a plus six. Yeah, I'm, so I'm I would say go to. ahead and roll. So with your there. friends helping you, I'll let you roll at advantage. Ooh. Plus six. 11? Uh-huh. 17. So she rolled a nice 12. <laughs> so you rolled a 17? I rolled a one. Uh, Why is everyone rolling? Yeah, 17. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what would you like to say to her to get her to open the door? Hey. Uh, um, <laughs> what's your mattress like? <laughs> I'm going to make it. that shit squeak. <laughs> oh. Uh, hey, uh, we heard uh, there's a lot of uh, people attacking you. We just want to we want to take you to safety. Your brother is Mark, right? He's brother. Mark. He's Mark. Uh, he, um, oh, hi, we're gonna, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. We're going to take you... Uh, we want to get you to a safer place, get you away from the devil. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you, a moment passes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Girl, you got to do it. You got to do it, girl. You hear like a moment pass, and then you hear a tumbler go click, and then another one click, 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 That's click. So many tumblers. Shit. Yo. Click. And then slowly this door opens, and in front of you there is this young, this strikingly beautiful young woman. She hot? I figured she she's, she's she's hot. sexy. Can though. I see her? She's like Gal Gadot. She's got like Yo. brown. She's like a good dot. She's got a <laughs> auburn hair. Uh, you see her. She's wearing this kind of like scarf. She's got like beaten down robes, and she just she yeah, I'll looks, beat down that robe. She looks. Uh, <laughs> she looks visibly annoyed. Now is she sound of mind or is she like? She, I mean, you can roll a Perception? Inve- investigation yeah, to see. Uh-huh. You want to investigate if she's sane? Yeah. I don't want to do that. Sure. I got a crappy four. You got a four? <laughs> hey, what's up with you? <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of like looking her down, and she's, she's hard to read. She's just Her arms are kind of crossed, and she's looking at all of you. Are you just standing outside, or are you coming in? Come in quick. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're going to come in. We're going to come in. Ugh. Hey, it's me. We talked earlier. Yes. <laughs> Hell, it's me. You're, you're real pretty. You're real She's short. like, where did that, where did that come from? Again. So you start going inside the mansion. And the, who's talking? A child? Uh, Who brought so the baby? Why are there four babies here? I'm 12. Um, inside of the interior of the mansion, it's uh, well furnished. Yet the, the fixtures show like signs of great wear. Like people have been living here for quite some time. Uh, there are noticeable oddity, oddities that are boarded up windows and the presence of different holy symbols. Um, as you go through, uh, there's a side uh, drawing room on the floor and lying in it is a simple wooden coffin surrounded by wilting flowers and a faint, very faint odor. Of decay and lilies. What no. the Who's fuck? Who's in the coffin? I'm assuming we can roll for that. Can, we, that. Perception. Roll, uh, yeah. can we all roll perception checks? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Ten. That's a one. Five. Five. Ten. Ten. Eight. You all look at it, and it is a wooden coffin. Wow, that's a body right there. <laughs> uh, is there a kid baby in there? <laughs> baby body in there? I'd like to uh, ask Ismark. Ismark, uh, why is that? coffin in your house. You had sinks. Ismark, you didn't tell them about us. <gasps> and Ismark kind of looks and he goes, no, I wanted to. Yeah. But I prefer that we talked about our issue. And she goes, no, no, no. The, these adventurers, they are what? To deliver father's body. And Ismark goes, no. Uh, they are here to uh, move you from the home, home, area to a different safer location and Irina 
kind of looks at him inquisitively. Like, you get the idea that she's the younger sister, but she runs the fucking show. Yeah. Right. She looks at Ismarks and she goes, how much did he say he was paying you for this? Uh, uh, 250 five. up front and another 250 when we deliver you. And she kind of looks at Ismark and Ismark kind of like, we could swing it. I mean, it's fine. I don't need a babysitter. We need to get father's body too. to... To be fair, we're we're not babysitters. We're here. There to, are four babies here. There. How are you not well, babysitter? They're not. They're not. Ba- well, that one's a baby. But mm-hmm. every, I'm an adult. Every other one. I'm twelve. <laughs> every other one. <laughs> not talking. Is is we're we're adventurers. We're here to protect you. We're here to to safely guide you to this place. Where does this coffin have to go? Yeah, and yeah. and how did your dad die? My uh, my father got very sick, mm-hmm. and he had zombie sick. <laughs> he had uh, perished. We need to get him to the church. He needs to be blessed, is Mark, and then buried. We cannot allow him to rot here. It smells like he's already wrong. Why didn't you just bury him in the backyard? She kind of looks at you inquisitively. That she doesn't know if you're serious or not. The, I'm serious. <laughs> the burgomaster of Barovia is going to be buried in the backyard. What is that title? Mean? Burgomaster? What? What you talking about? Yeah, man? we don't uh, know about that. We're uh, dwarves from the hills. Burgomaster, Meister, Burger. Burgomasters are they're high authority. They're they're like right, regal. I get it. He needs they're to be like blessed. the nobility. All right. Nobility. Oh, they're so nobles. the money's good then. Exactly. <laughs> What's he wearing in there? Oh my Any god. Any gold jewelry? Please uh please they're they're new to our party. Anything we can The man go said for. 500 gold. Mhm. Is what it is, man. Okay. When Should you have as much gold as me, it's not as important. You have 20 gold. 22 so gold. So how he died. So yet? what if we just move your father with you and we <coughs> all just go to the village? But they, not, nothing more than Who's going to carry the casket? Uh, you strong man. Yeah. Whoa. How about we? Look, how about we put the midgets to work? We can fashion some kind hey. of uh, hold, wheel hold. thing. Um, hold, hold on. I'm really curious. Wagon. How do we know that the monsters are trying to attack uh, Irene and not get the body? What What purpose could they have for a body? Well, he I don't know what standing. monsters want to do. So Six. Ismark I'm, said that the the, the, the devil's had. been trying to get Irene for a long for a time. While. Is it not that long? He covets her. How is long, is Mark? We're confused here. When did your father die? My father has been dead for, uh, I would say, at least about a week or two. How long has I the would... devil been coming after your sister? And he kind of looks at Irina, and Irina looks back at him and then looks at you and goes, since I was about 15. Oh. That's longer. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> And she's about 22, he said. You are new to this area. Absidy, your theory We is were dead. trying to go to Morovia. <laughs> we got your theory. Your that is a made-up name. There is no Morovia. <laughs> you know of Morovia. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You see, like for the first better. time, you see this stern face. She starts to, like, there's a twitch. Like, you see kind of like a smirk. And she looks back at Ismark and goes, I will gladly go with you. You must deliver my bodies, my father's body first, or no money. Is it on the way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where exactly does he need to be delivered to? The church. Yeah, but where, where is, is it? Where is the church? Yeah. How, how far is the church from yeah. where we are currently? Dirt kind of raises his hand like he's in school again. Dirt, yeah, just yeah, fucking yeah, talk. Dirt, what? Um, I, I would assume that uh, the ghosts were perhaps going to the church. And Irina goes, you saw the death parade. And he goes, that's what you call it? Is that a parade? Like the black parade? I did not see elephants or clowns or... No, no. It is cute name we come up for the dead that are in Barovia. They all go back home to the graveyard. Every every night, 12 p.m. starts. Mm. So, I mean... how How far is the church from where we are? We are at far end south of the uh, village. How, it is how many days? Straight direction. North. Hours. It would be. Is it on the way to? The it village? is about two two hour walk if you are carrying father. Maybe three, depending on how strong you are. 
Yeah, the orc and the paladin guy, they'll carry him. Son of a bitch. Now, is this on the way to the you village vouched you for this guy? sister to, or is this just a separate, opposite direction? Right? Ismark kind of, at this point, he's kind of like just quieted down because... Irene is in charge. Irina looks at you. You want to take me out of town? There is really only, only way out of town. Of course, there's only one way. No one leaves Barovia. This what? is the village of we Barovia. This is not, you know, continent of Barovia. Mm. So there is path a few days out. I will gladly pay and go with you. You take care of this first. And she no. kind of is just the, crosses her arms. Is the path is in the she direction? She's not going to go if we don't take is the her path. But is she coming body. with us when we take the father or is she staying at the house? Eastmark will go with you. Okay. I will stay here. Ooh. Got it. Mm, now, I don't like should we that. split up and someone stays with her, or is that not allowed? Well, I don't we trust can, her. anything's allowed. We shouldn't trust her. We can we can split up, but if him and I are carrying the body, you have no one who can protect you in a we got magic. Care, capable, we got magic in a she capable got fashion. Well, I think they're still new to the group, so if that's the case. Dirt comes with us and Absidy stays with them. I still need a bowstring. <laughs> you have to go to the store anyway. I've been trying to go. We can stay with Absidy and protect Irina while you guys deliver the, the corpse, but you got to be back in four hours. I mean, yeah. It's two hours it's there. Three hours. Hey, hey, it's Irina. three hours. Hey, Irina. Hey, Irina. Do you have a bowstring? No. It was maybe three, depending on There is a shop. You can probably get bowstring, but... Okay, I'm going to run to the shop real quick. I'll see you guys in like Bil- 10 minutes. Bildrath is usually expense. He left. Making my way downtown. <laughs> Walking fast. Uh, dirt, at this point, while you're making plans, Dirt kind of like sits and stands next to you and he goes, Sir, this place has been very odd. Uh, it seems that Irina has been able to fend for herself very fine. It's also daylight. It seems like most of these things happen at night. Would you think it'd be wise to split up everyone and split the party? We have dealt with fucking man things and and zombies and i'd rather have those two little people with us as opposed to not having them with us at all that's a valid point uh we will we'll figure it out we need absidy to come back first before we make any plans you're right everything happens at night so what time of the day is it now i would say it's about mm, 10 how do we convince Irina to join us on our journey and we make persuasion. it one big trip? Persuasion. How do we persuade her? You but, can attempt to persuade her. But there's also time for them to deliver the body and come back if it's only about but that 10 a.m. What time does the sun set? I mean, the sunset is usually around. What you've noticed is it usually starts to set around 6 and then it's completely dark by at least like 7.30. So we have, we'd be cutting it close if we left now. Mm. He just left. And he's going to be gone for, ten I would minutes, assume, 10. But he doesn't know what time, how long is he going to be gone for. Like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes? Um, I mean, the it's it's up by the merchant places about where uh, the tavern was. And it was about a 30-minute f- kind of so hike. be an hour. So by the time he gets back, it's 11. Or you meet him at the, you could always meet him at the merchant. I don't I don't want to leave Irina alone. If she doesn't come with us, we have to split up. <clears throat> yes. Do you think we can persuade her to come with us? I mean, we can try. Let, how do we do that? Roll you would persuasion. roll persuasion. Who has the best? Can we just Josh? Josh make, has the best, but he's not here. He's, he's not here. Who has oh, the he's second? Not going to come back. Okay, I, went to the I, store. I got. He I went got, to the store. All right, let's. Irina, why won't you come with us? We can leave right from burying your father, to yeah, to yeah, going on the she journey. She want to see her father be buried, right? I will. Ismar can go with you and he can confirm with me. I don't know if you know this, but someone is trying to kill me. No, I know, but wouldn't you be safer with us than in this house where they know that you are? I've been fairly safe by myself for a fairly long time. But wouldn't you be safer in numbers? Wouldn't you be safer? We're here to protect you. You're willing to go with us. For all I know, you take my father's body outside, drop on the sidewalk, and force me to go. Well, then you can you can watch us do it yourself. You don't need to take Ismark's word for it. You can you can see it happen. You can grieve your father appropriately. Mm-hmm. All due respect, my uh, knight. I trust my brother a little more than I trust going outside with but you. But your brother will be with us. Yeah. Can I roll for persuasion? Sure, go ahead and roll persuasion. <laughs> Eight. 
eight. Eight. <laughs> Solid. Solid Fuck. attempt. So you're you're kind of pleading with her. You're like, please, we'll just go with us. It'll be fine. And Irina just kind of looks at you and she goes, she kind of touches your cheek very softly. She goes, you're cute. Dumb though. Yes. And she kind of smacks it. I'll see you later. And she starts to leave the room and Ismark goes, she's the boss. We can wait here for Absidy while you guys get a head start. Yep. Hurry up. Run back. <sighs> chip, chop, chip. You're not even here. <laughs> Everybody needs to get closer to their mics too, by the way. Um, what do you okay, think? Okay, so as you do Should that, by uh, oh, Absidy, you... You know, you're trekking. You're like, kind of fucking. <laughs> and you get to build rafts, percentile. Uh, and you go inside, and there is, uh, at the end of the, the table, there's this kind of like stout, balding kind of gentleman behind a uh, shop. He's kind of reading a book, and he's kind of sitting there. And you see all these different things, like this adventuring gear behind him, like swords and potions and. Uh, things you would normally find in like a good head village shop, and he just kind of sees, sits there, and he goes, "Welcome to Buildrath Mercen Style. I am Buildrath. How can I helping you?" Hey there, buddy, old pal, old chum, old friend. Oh my God, it talks. Yeah, I do. Do you have a bowstring for me? Bowstring. Uh, let uh, give me one moment. All right. And he kind of goes in the back, and this other person just kind of huge motherfucker. Just kind of sits at the other side of the counter and he's watching you to make sure you're not stealing anything. Oh, shit. <laughs> and he kind of, you hear rattling in the back and you see Bill Draft kind of come back out and he puts this bowstring on uh, the counter and it looks decent enough. It looks like you can string a bow with it. And he goes, uh, 200 gold piece. Oh, uh, sir, I think you're mistaken. Uh, gold is the large amount of money. <laughs> I think you mean copper. Oh, I'm sorry. I your ears tiny. Um, I must speak louder. Two hundred gold, please, please. How about I interest you in an investment opportunity? <laughs> I am working on a mattress company. I what kind of mattress do you have? I have a very comfortable mattress. I can afford. Oh well, let me persuasion check you. Sure. Persuade him to not do two hundred gold. 13, mm. 6. Okay, so add it up for me. 19. 19? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you look at him and he kind of smirks and he goes, Okay, I know do 200 gold. You get special discount. 199 gold. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> you drive a tough bargain. How about... I do. What? Uh, please? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're giving... Buildrath hard time. Are you giving Buildrath hard time? I wouldn't call it a hard time. And as I'm he, just a little confused. As he says that, <laughs> you hear in the back this fucking massive, like six, seven. And he just kind of recrosses his arms. I mean, if you give me a hard time, perhaps you meet uh, my uh, nephew, Barry Wimple. Hard time. Yeah, Barry Wimple. <laughs> hey, Barry. Uh, we don't need to do this. Um, <laughs> what can I do to get a more reasonable price on this bowstring? I don't quite have 200, I, I am not abreast with currency. Uh, he... Bildrath kind of looks at you, and he goes, hop on one foot. <laughs> do you need any cloaks? I have many. Get on one foot. One foot? Okay, I'm on, hop on one foot. I'm on Start one foot. Start popping on one foot. I'm very good at this. Go ahead and roll a performance check for me. Oh, fuck. Maybe you should sl uh, slide of hand him. 20. So steal it. 20, mod 20, so you're like jumping on one foot, and you're <laughs> doing a great, doing like somersaults the and shit. The best one foot jumping. And he goes, you are amusing. Build Wrath, I like this. Do you like this? And you see uh, Perry Wimple, he's like, <laughs> Okay. Uh... Very, very nice showmanship. So it is uh, 150 gold piece. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All that right, is buddy. bargain. Is that not bargain? Yes, no. bargain. Now, later. Pay, I'll pay you, pay you later. That's 
lying. Lay away. How about some Is lay it away? lie? It's deception, baby. It's part of the game. I would like to lie. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a pers- uh, deception for me. 18 and 4. So 20, modded 22. Mm. He. So what would you like to tell him? All right, buddy. I will pay you back later. I just I gotta go do a thing. I gotta go shoot some some elk, and uh, I can give you some of the hide, give you some of the meat. I'm a very good cook. And he kind of looks at Periwinkle, and he goes, "Hunter, <laughs> he is hunter. Tiny man say he kill elk, little elk. <laughs> he kills a very little elk. You know, deal with big elk, perhaps." And you hear Periwinkle, Periwinkle start to get up. And you hear a creak as he's and what you assumed was like really realistically like six foot like not, because you couldn't tell he was sitting down and then you just see like and he goes hi big you hunt me oh, oh no buddy no I would never do that then you pay you get out get out <laughs> I need the string. Goodbye, short man. And he and you see him put the bowstring behind, and he kind of like looks at you. Oh, too late for his light of hand. Well, shit. Well, fiddlesticks. <laughs> well, gee whiz. I guess I'll just be leaving now. Bye. Bye. Investigate. See if there's anything else on the shelf. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Slide it. You can throw a sleight of hand on the way out. I don't think I can now. It's behind the. Well, let's see if there's anything else. Well, there's anything go. else. Grab some. Fuck, man. Grab Let me see if I can swipe anything. Sure. Go ahead and roll a investigation as these two men are looking at you. <laughs> I'm just looking. I'm not doing sure. anything. Sure. 16. Okay. Plus uh, investigation. Investigation. So you're looking around and you see on the, the racks, you see different kind of potions and vials, and you see uh, next to each other, close to the. the to the door, maybe on the far wall next to the door, is maybe about three uh, potions of healing. All right, he's very large. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> You're on your own. That's yeah, I'm, I'm by myself. Pussy. Goodbye. Bye. I'll miss you. I love you. Kiss me. <laughs> Kiss me. Come back here. I'm gonna tongue fuck your face. Kiss me through the phone. Uh, yeah. Shart and I have decided. To trust Heshi uh, beyond my uh, feelings internally about him, which is that he's disgusting and a human that I want to, or a dwarf that I want to destroy. You're gonna, you're gonna stay with Irina. He's, he's gonna down. stay with Irina. Oh, okay. And um, we're, we're, we're waiting, leaving on, once he gets back. We're waiting on Absidy. Okay, so you're uh, waiting for Absidy. He'll stay with us. Don't take anything. Take. You're not here. Oh. <laughs> Your ears perk up. Tank! And he suddenly you're running sure Mach 5. He full away. Sprinting. He's full sprinting. <laughs> we'll just play some cards and hang Did out Did I hear arena. thievery? <laughs> We're going to steal so much shit. <laughs> Y'all. Don't Ye- take anything. This bitch empty. I think Ye- the dead guy's wearing some jewelry. <laughs> We're taking it. He's with us. And you hear above in the, in the, the rafters, you take anything off my father, I cut both your hands off and feed them to you. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> so Shart and I go over to the casket, mm-hmm. and uh, I assume the odor is stronger there. It is It is stronger. Uh, you being a paladin or a knight, uh, you, you're you used to dead. You've done. Yeah. You've yeah. assisted in cleaning of the body, Murdered preparing the bodies. Um, he's actually never killed anything except for that Whoa. one adventure. You're a bitch. <laughs> this, is a, this is his first trek. This is my first um, trek. He has, a, not, he has not disclosed virgin. that at all. No. Uh, and Shart, you've been around like rotting carcasses before, and you can I tell. smell kind of like him, so. You can tell he's you been dead for at least about two weeks or so, but now the. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Go no, ahead. you can ask. No, I was going to say, is he able to pick it up by himself, or does. You know, he's to able to trash? get like a more specific like time frame because he's able to smell it. But, you oh, know, it's. about it, like carrying it himself. Is he able to do oh, that? Oh, you can. Oh, I'm it? sorry. Uh, roll his strength check for me. See if you can roll. A, you can pick it up by yourself. Modded twenty three. Okay, so Shark kind of goes over and Rufio, you're kind of like, <sighs> and bend with the knees, bend with the knees. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shark just kind of goes, oh, and his arm kind of reaches over and he kind of puts it on his shoulder and he looks at you and he's like, "We're going." <laughs> yeah, we're going, bitch. Ismark's going with you, right? 
Yes. Yeah, as Mark's going with us. Bye. We're going to hang here. Please. Great. Don't take anything. What's in the fridge? <laughs> we do not. I, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Food? Shit, kitchen you're right. is that way. Fair. And so poof, poof, you guys start trekking out. Absidy, uh, you, as you're walking back defeated, you see Shart with this giant coffin on his shoulder and then Dirt, Ismark, and Rufio walking close side by side and you guys meet up. Dirt, stay by the house. But sir, I... No, stay by the house. But they're wolves. I, well, not outside the house. Go back inside. Watch the dwarves. I don't trust them. Very What's good, up, my sir. Dudes? Very good. And so Fuck. dirt comes back, goes back to the house. So it's four of us, and five with Irina. No. Yeah, yeah. one, two, three, four with dirt, and then Irina oh, makes five. Oh, am I he's back at the house? He's, now, or yeah. he's, he's passing us. He's oh, I, back. I thought I met up. With They're gonna have guys. a conversation now. Oh, got it. Oh, okay. I guess. Watch up? the dwarves take nothing. Watch the dwarves takes nothing so I can take it. Yas. Sounds good. Do you have any bowstrings? No. Okay, yeah, I couldn't get bowstrings. <laughs> so if you find some bowstrings, hit a brother up. Okay. Alrighty, <laughs> you guys have fun. See you I'm gonna later. Go, I'm going to go not steal shit. You're the worst. Here quoted, sir. Here quoted. <laughs> Even I'm walking away and I knew Watch. it. Watch him. I will be more than happy to do so. Uh, so can I? Mm-hmm. Mm, I don't know if it's a good idea. I know we have a, sh- a silver short sword, and I want to give it to uh, Dirt. Dirt? Yeah. Okay. So the the short sword? Weaponizing your squire. Uh, you might need it. Oh, oh no! Do you think they're not wolves? I don't. I don't know. Uh, uh, Hold on to the short sword. Please hurry back. I do not want to deal with this anarchy. Well. Shard's got it, so we'll be back soon. We'll be back before nightfall. That's the important thing. <laughs> nightfall You'll is when the wolves come. You'll right. be fine. Like, back. <laughs> Hot step it, motherfucker. Go. You'll be fine. Go. <laughs> Make him back out. to Wait. the house. So, Shard and I four, go. The four you go, the two of you, you, Absidy, uh, and Dirt, go back to the back to the, the castle. And at this point, you guys have made yourself at home. You're doing fucking... You have different warlock kind of cantrips that blow. you use to... Yes. Yeah, you're doing blow off. Lines of coke off of Irina's ass. <laughs> I would lo- yeah. She's hot. We uh, are going to get. And Irina's just kind of watching you, and she's kind of eating this apple, and she's just inquisitive. What is your magic user? We are. She's better. <laughs> <laughs> you keep this one in line. That is a good job. <laughs> We've been together woman. a long time, long time. So tell us about your dad a little bit. You, we learned a new word earlier, Bergen, Bergensteiner, kind of mm. like me. I'm a Burgomeister. Yeah, Mordechstein, Burgermeister, same thing. I have not heard of a Morgenstein. You sure your dad didn't have a little mountain dwarf in him? <laughs> uh, not, not that I am aware of. We are fairly human. Um, he was a very kind man. How long have you, has your family been in Barovia? Uh, as long as I can remember of our bloodline, we have always been in Barovia. And how did this devil find you, or how did all that start? Strat. He... He was not always the man that he was. He's cursed. He was a uh, general, they say, about uh, 90-something, 100 years ago. And during a battle, he was offered... A gift. And he was g- instead given a curse. Forever mm-hmm. youthful. Mm-hmm. Prime. But disadvantages. Sunlight. Go- not being able to be welcomed inside. Hence, wolves. We know about this. Yeah. We've seen these things. Heard of these things in the hills slash mountains. Because we're from the hills and mountains. Yes. That is very cute. Seen all things. Very nice. He's from the mountains. I'm from the hills. <laughs> You're so very cute. Your brother said that at night, the wolves come to the house. What keeps them out? Yeah. They are not strong enough to go through barricade. Also, as you can see, holy symbol. Ah. 
So we can stay here tonight if they take Keep forever to come back. I'm not yeah. my back yet. You're back. Okay. I would say you're back. Uh, what about the uh, zombie-looking footprints? Are you are you having zombies come after you as well? Yes, we have zombie come out all the time. I was just annoying. Sh- I was just curious. <laughs> so we got zombies, we got werewolves, and we got a so maybe when they come maybe back, vampire. We, we were stuck at overnight at the house essentially. I think that that's got to absolutely. What do you think? Morning. You saw them on the way out. It's what twelve fifteen, the, the one o'clock now. I would say it's now. about. 12. We 12 intend 10. for them to be back by 5. It could be we should stay here six hours. overnight. Is that all right with you? My home is your home. Mm. And then tomorrow morning we can set out it's for the village rested. at sunrise. It's got to be like night. We've only been here one night, two nights or whatever it is. We don't want to. I don't even want to see the dead parade. I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> is there a certain distance? Once, if we leave early enough that the wolves don't come out after you? Too close? Awesome. Don't know. Haven't been outside of during night or dusk. Don't, I do not like leaving here. Do you have any bowstrings for the little one? <laughs> Please? I don't know. I Give me a few moments. Oh, I think And so with that... Sweet. We will go back to our two, You're main, our two <laughs> adventurers here. You're beautiful. It's true. It's all so your fault. And you're just like in pants, no, no shirt, no, no. I don't know. They call me James Blunt. Because uh, so I'm right to the point. <laughs> as you're, so short, Rufio. As you're moving through with Ismark, uh, you see these two men. Uh, in the middle of the street, oh, it's, it's like they're fighting and not like bickering, like they're frothing at the mouth, screaming at each other. I paid for it. It's mine. I don't want to yell in this. I paid for it. It's mine. I just, I need it. It has been weeks since I've had one of those. And as they're screaming, Ismark goes, oh boy. What, what do you know about this? They are, they are addicted to, <laughs> go ahead, ask them. It's ridiculous. Ge- gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> what? It's mine. What's, I deserve it. What? Well, what is it? You're new around here, aren't you? Very. And then the other one goes, Dream Pastry. I'm sorry, what? Little old lady has caught, comes by Dream Pastry, and oh, it's just, it's, oh, it's like heaven in your head. And I can't, I, I, I have been going a very long time. They are one gold apiece, but I, I need this. Where, where is this cart? Uh, roll perception for me. Should I roll as well? To You're holding it. Yeah, you can things. go. You can go. Yeah, he can still I do have it. I 12. I have uh, a 10. Okay. Uh, you, you got a 12 and a 10. Yeah. Um, you you don't really hear or see anything. Uh, can I can I can I ask where it is? She, you can. Uh, where where is this cart? The she goes from house to house. I would like to get that. I would really like to know. Talking to knocking on doors. Most people in Barovia do not answer, but those of us who are smart, those of us who are loyal. We buy oh, one gold piece a piece. It is like what I cannot even describe. Gentlemen, why why don't you split it? Share share it. Split it in half. Then you both get some. Split. Split, split the pastry. You can't do different things. No. <laughs> why? Have you tried one of these before? Uh, I have no, not. I yeah, yeah. If you tag her down, you will know why. We what fight. If, what, what if, what if I mean, we fun. give you one gold piece, and then you it. can go get <laughs> another one? That's and a, you see one of them put his hand out. You want to, yeah? Go for it. You got more gold. It's on you. God damn it. Oh, these fuckers are going to get high. You're the rich <laughs> motherfucker. I they're give him a piece of gold. While they're delivering the damn I'm not. Coffee. No, we're giving it to the other dude so that they stop fighting. Where's Ismark? Okay. No, no. They want dream pastry right to the head. Is Ismark paying attention? Is that what you called it? Trying to get some dream pastry. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
What do you What do you know of Strahd? The devil. Yeah. Tell Tell me more about the devil. He is. I hear he is no longer a man. Oh. He is beast. He's a, oh. he's a vampire. We know this. He he yeah, is atop a from his castle thing. and he surveys this mist. We have been struck here as Barovians because of him. He lets none of us leave. You are in Barovia. You do not leave Barovia. I beg to differ. You're going through the mist, no? Uh, yeah. Poorly, but it happened. Yeah. That's how it starts. First, you get tired. Next, you cannot breathe anymore. Not because the mist is so thick. It's because you have forgotten to do so. Mm. You black out, and then poof, you are gone. Gone where? To the great pastry place in the sky. Oh, God. So you trying to say I'm dead? <laughs> no, you are very much alive, dumb one. You Sorry. go in that mist, you try <laughs> he, to leave Barovia. He carries the heavy things. You do not leave Barovia. This mark kind of... They are new here. They don't quite know the customs. Ugh. So I assume they are not Vistani. What is Vistani? Mm. The only pieces of shit that are able to move out of Barovia. Gypsy. Duh. And they spit. We gotta make some Vistani friends. Get the fuck out of here. They know the way out. Where can we find this Vistani? There is a camp. Quite a ways away. They like to hang there. Uh, can you give us an approximation? North, south, east, west. It is west. About how far? It is a couple of days out. I I need to track down. Uh, I need to 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 to, go, to get this in in back into my system. I need to find Morganta. And so with that, the, the first one kind of leaves and the other one that had the dream pastry, he kind of looks at you and he smirks and he... And you... Uh, let me see here. Okay. And you see the eyes roll to the back of his head. And he kind of smiles. As you see, he slowly becomes sedentary and he sits down and... Any conversation that you you have, he is gone, and he is he's in another place. And Ismark looks at you, and he goes, "These people are addicted, and it takes them to a place very far away from here." So he's of no use. He'll give us no information. So is he like Eric? Eric, Bar- the bartender. No, Eric is uh, he is what we call soulless one. He's a retard. And, gotcha. he, and he moves forward. Um, <clears throat> uh, Ismark, do you know of, of this gypsy place, this gypsy camp? The camp, the Vistoni. Could that, you take us there? That is where originally I would like to take Arena. Beautiful. That works out well. Let's take this coffin. There is a fortune teller there, uh, Madame Eva. I think we. I might be able to get some guidance, try to figure out what to do with Arena. That is why I need you to get out of here. That's why I need us to get there. That's why we need to go take your father to the to the church. Let's go. Okay. So as you as you walk to the church, there is atop a slight rise against the roots of the pillar stone that supports uh, this uh, church. And through the stone and wood, the church obviously is weathered and um, the assaults of evil for centuries on end and is is worn and weary. You see like battle marks on it. Uh, there's a bell tower that rises toward the back and a flickering light shines through the holes in the shingled roof and the rafters. You can kind of like you can tell from inside the roof. It's kind of like squeaking and caves in uh, as you approach kind of the the front of the uh, the church. You see uh, heavy wooden doors and they're covered with claw marks and they're scarred by fire. And as Mark looks at you and he goes, Pristanovich lives here. We, uh, most Barovians have shunned the church for, uh, I have no idea why, but this is where the priest lives. This is where we can put my father to rest. 
Do we need the priest to put your father to rest? You need to bless the body. Okay, sorry. Uh, we go up and knock on the door of the church. Um, you knock on it, and it seems like they're already open. Uh, but Father Donovich does like his walks. Always likes to keep the church doors open during the day. Welcome new people in. Uh, the doors open, and it reveals like a 10-foot wide, 20-foot long hallway that's leading to a brightly lit chapel. And the hall is uh, unlit, and it reeks of mildew. Like, no one's really been there for a very long time. Uh, there are four doors. There are two on each side of the hall, and uh, they lead to adjacent kind of like chambers. Uh, you can see as you're going through that the chapel is strewn with debris, and you hear a soft voice from within reciting a prayer. And then suddenly the prayer is just blotted out by this inhuman scream that rises up from beneath the wooden floor. And with that, we will end this episode and move on. Well, shit. God damn it. Oh, gee, golly gee willikers. I'm going to need more whiskey. We seem to have gotten ourselves into a pickle. I mean, you guys are doing great. Yeah, well, we haven't got money yet. (laughs) You still might be getting a bowstring. I'm really excited about the bowstring. Well, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for checking everything out. Uh, we will be back with our next episode, uh, hopefully in uh, yeah, yeah, in next Thursday. Post-haste. Whenever you're watching this, so yeah, enjoy that. Yay. Woo.